In this relation to sacred bond, a very unique relationship between two individuals, a relationship that is unique to the Islamic tradition, the Islamic academic tradition, and that is astonishing to people from outside this circle. This relationship between an ustad and their tilmid, between a teacher and their student, and the student and their teacher. I remember once um, a couple of students who are still studying here, and one that's graduated now, part of the alumni, Mulana Arif and Ahsan, right? Hafiz Ahsan came to my house one day, and I had a relative over, and this was just randomly after I, uh, uh, you know, I had stopped teaching them. And a relative, after they left, they said, so who came to visit? And I said, two students that I used to teach. And they said, well, why did they come? I said, just to visit. And they were scratching their head, but you don't teach them anymore. You know, <laughs> why would they come to your house? And I said, just to visit. And it was really shocking for them. And I said, you have to understand the relationship between a ustad and a tilmid. It's like a relationship between a father and a son, between brother and brother. You, be, you become related to one another. And you become so devoted to one another that you give up your own rights to fulfill the rights of your students and your teachers. And so that sacred bond, that's a nisbah, that's a connection. And that connection right, connects you all the way up to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the fakhr, this is the pride of the Islamic tradition. That you can connect yourself, right, through your teacher, through their teacher, through their teacher, all the way up to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.